guys, we got a new toy. Oh, this is the Armour Outcast AS EXB ready to run. Now, have I made the right decision or not? I've always wanted one, but is it the wrong decision I've made? We'll soon find out. So, Outcast EXB AS ready to run. AS Power. So on the box, we can see all the technical information about it. New heavy duty shocks on this one, new wheels and tyres, slightly bigger than the old version. 7075 chassis, we'll soon see about that. Well, here it is, out of the box. Oh, guys, I'm going to need a bigger workspace. It doesn't even fit on there. So here we are, I've always loved the look of these. So I was always put off by the old one of these, just because basically it always used to break quite easily. Very easy to bought this one, it looks a lot tougher than the old one. We'll see. So, inside. <laughs> new electronics. So... New it brushes ESE, 1100k V motor. The only thing I've done with this, I've got my batteries in there, we're just about to take it out for a bash. The only thing I've done, I've stuck the option pinion on it. So that's got the 32 pinion on that at the moment. But as you can see the suspension, they're a lot thicker than the original ones were. We're gonna leave it stock for the first video with the original 1100k V. Then we have this motor. Now this is my used Hobby Wing 1100k V motor. So in this video, we are going to install this motor in this car and then see how different it is. So if you want to know where I got mine from, this is where I got mine from. Redfin Models, go give them a visit. Good stand here all day, talking about the car, but we're going to go and meet up with the guys. Take this thing out for a rip. On location, just do a quick speed run with the Outcast. Got the old GPS on there, all zeroed out. Let me give it a run. <laughs> Oh, it low voltage cut off already. I don't know, it's got the high speed gearing on it, so. Oh, it just pulled 10 milliamps and upset itself. Maybe there are 100C batteries. So, new location. What tools have you got, Stephen? I have FTX Ram Raider. Oh, a bit of a Ram Raider, that one. Rustler. Rustler 4x4. This one here. And we've got the old Electric Savage again. quite fast as well. That's wheelies forever. Oh, I love these trucks here, awesome. Wheelie on forever. <laughs> How are you doing? This boat has got a crash in it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, season on that hot, but... 
Yeah. Nah. That is warm, but really? Yeah, you feel that it's not hot, is it? No, a lot of oil, I can't touch it. It's quite warm, they hold the figure in the centre of it. Got the car home in one piece. Uh, we only had one issue, and that was when I thought I'd blown the ESC up. But it only overheated, luckily, so we let it cool down, and it was absolutely fine. But it is running on the speed gear, and like we said. So now time. I'm going to put the big 1100 in it now, see what difference this makes. Keep it on the same gearing, so it's going to be on 32 pinion in stock spur. front plate on but also managed to get the heat sink on the motor as well which will help so we've got the other benefit of the fan so we'll get this back in the car we've got motor in heat sink in motor's connected fans connected back up pinion all meshed up so we'll do a look about this as as well as these adjustable battery trays here as well so the rear one is adjustable and i've got these new batteries that i'm going to test got the battery tray all adjusted and they fit in there lovely look so i'm just going to tighten that tray up now adjust the other side and then uh we'll take them out for another rip you can win it's Little brother, the Armour Outcast 4S V3. Link in the description. So just gonna do a uh, quick speed run with the Outcast. Got it in the car, got the high speed pinion on it. We'll give it a run down the road quick. So we got the old uh, GPS. GPS is all zeroed out. We got Dan down there. Okay, here we go. Seeing the power on. Here we go. Full power. How far do you think? 58. I'm going to say 61. 58. What did you say? 58, wasn't it? Nice. Go at the skate park. Going to get the outcast a bag. So I've got this new ramp. Foldable ramp. Bash ramp. Get some height with that ramp. Jesus. So I weren't expecting that, how much height I got off that ramp. That's ridiculous. It's a little bit less speed maybe this time. Tell me off. Yeah, this thing is actually a tank. I think if you use it properly, It'll last forever. It's an absolute beast, it really is. Down up there with his Creighton. So, quick one, motor temps is, is quite actually quite warm <laughs> yes so it might chuck the small opinion on it here we go take a big run up now see if i can hit the actual ramp nice Oh, that don't look good. So this is a quick one, we found it again. As I said in the previous video, if you look back in the video, these things here that hold the pillow ball mounts in, they're absolutely rubbish. They're, they're just loose as hell. So this bottom one has basically come all the way undone. I've taken it out and we're gonna try and refit it. I think what I have to do is put some PTFE tape around them, some coming out. So we've got the car home. Overall impressions, absolutely love this truck. Did everything I asked it to. Yeah, I didn't bash it as hard as a lot of other people have. Uh, I don't want to do it because I want to keep this for myself and not damage it. I don't want to have to put any upgrades on it if I can. Two problems I had. One, pillow ball mounts. The adjusters for them obviously came undone. But simple fix, that's a bit of PTFE tape around it. And also what we didn't say is about the motor. So with the hobby ring in it, it felt really good. Felt a lot smoother. Power-wise, a little bit more. Uh, and a lot less heat. So it made a massive difference to it and I'll be keeping it in this truck as well. The future for this, gonna keep it as stock. 
and probably change opinion. It's on a 30 opinion at the moment, so we're probably going to put it down to a 26 tooth. Got a couple of options, we're going to run it. But overall, fantastic. Absolutely lovely. So if you enjoy these sort of videos, like and subscribe. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.